Hello everyone and welcome back to Persona 5 Royale. We are currently waiting for Madarame's change of heart and we just have a few things to take care of uh, before then. So uh, one of the things I actually want to do, let me check something here. Um, that's not it. Ah, we have 11 lockpicks. We're gonna need a lot more than that, but I wanted to check to see how many I had because we're gonna be making some of those this evening and um, I'm gonna save here. So I can reload. I, I know it's marked right next to a save point, but I'm gonna re, I'm gonna save again, reload, so that I can get the extra item, and uh, I'll just be right back for that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, there it is. Okay, that was only one reload, so that wasn't yes. bad. And we get hit the one, two points plus nice. a third point. Now you could hang out with Sojiro if you want. Um, that is one possibility if you don't have the stuff to make wow. lockpicks. Um, I don't know. I don't really know what to say about this. That's that's all I got. Anyway, sitting hey. on the train. Okay, so we've done this before. We're gonna finish reading the Gallant Rogue today. Hmm? Striking a pose of defiance with tobacco pipe in hand, he truly looked like a great thief. Wow. Ishikawa Goemon was a thief without peer, so he was a hero of the common people, huh? And we finished the book, that's nice. Oh. And that splendid spirit that pays no mind to the bad guys, he's a true example of a gentleman thief. After reading this, I'm sure you have a better understanding of a chivalrous thief's courage. And we get three points of guts. Very nice. Yeah, reading's worth it. And uh, we're done here. But we've got something new today, and uh, I'm actually really excited about this. Okay, quiet All right, everyone, quiet down. I'm changing my lesson for today. Instead of regular class, we'll be reviewing last week's materials. I suggest you listen carefully. But don't think you can slack off, okay? I absolutely won't allow it. No slacking off. Hmm. Weird, she's hmm. going totally against the curriculum. All that stuff about slacking off is a little odd too. Wait a second, is this what she meant by ditch class? I would have thought she would have let you leave the room or something, but I guess you can't really complain. So yeah, we can now slack off in class, and there's a few things that we can do here. Kawakami's been kind enough to give us this free time, so we'd better put it to good use. What do you want so to what's use? the plan? We have four things we can do. We can read, which allows us to read a book, make tools, which will up our proficiency, and we get tools. We can sleep, uh, which just makes time pass, or we can listen to the lecture, which will increase our knowledge. I'm going to read here. And I'm going to go ahead and read uh, Tidying the Heart, which should uh, increase our proficiency. We could also read, actually, this one would probably be good too, but proficiency is what we want. The secret to decluttering is a pure and serene heart. Mm. Is this book really about cleaning or is it training you to become a monk? Hey, hey. Hmm? Oh, I didn't realize how long you've been reading, so how far did you get? Seems like he still has some pages left. You should continue some other time. I'm really liking how you've got that uh, notebook propped up so she can't see what you're doing. Like, really? Hmm. Ah, that was great. We should thank Kawakami for this later. And we're gonna be having that a few times over the course of the next while, but it's great because it gives you a little bit more time to do stuff, which we need all the time we can get. Yo, I've been looking into Yamauchi lately. Thought I'd give you an update. Apparently he's been hanging out at the Manja, Manjayaki shop a lot. I heard he gets real drunk there and brags to his co-workers. So a perfect opportunity, right? If we can get close, we might get some intel out of him. All right, uh, good luck. I'm not doing this alone, you know. I'm gonna need your help, dude. He knows me, so I ain't gonna be able to get anywhere near him. But he wouldn't care about you. I bet you could even sit next to his booth if you wanted, probably. So I'll let you know what, once I figure out where he's drinking. Till then, we're gonna put it on a hold on our training. Well, well, I'll be counting on you. You yep. stop reading so quickly. Because I'm losing track. Sounds like we won't be hanging out with Ryuji for a while. I guess you'll just have to be patient. A actually, it's not as long as you think. Um, let's, uh, let's see. What do you guys have to say today? This must have a new thing. It's almost the rainy season, but the constant rain bums me out and I don't want to do anything. 
what are you talking about? The rainy season's the time to buy limited rainy day goods. In fact, there's a limited time drizzled in the hot toads being sold at Shibuya Station uh, underground level. Oh, well, you really know so much about specials. Okay, so it's at Shibuya Station's underground mall. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do with this. Anyway, let's go outside. And uh, it looks like we can actually hang with Ryuji if we wanted to, um, but we're actually not gonna do that. We're gonna go downstairs. And if we go, uh, we actually need to go this direction. We could, not this direction. I'm going the wrong way. I'm so lost and I'm not paying attention. Uh, what do you two, what do you guys have to say? That honor student. Yeah, she's always son, right? I heard she volunteered to clean even though she's exempt. Really, that's so considerate. Talented, beautiful, and pure of heart. She's perfect. I'm rooting for her. I really want her to do the best. Aw, that's actually really sweet given that everybody like talks crap about her. Uh, you can buy some pawn here. I don't really want that. And now that we're in here, we don't generally come over here, so let's listen to the people. It seems that some of the girls are making a fuss. Huh, they're just jealous. They don't like the special treatment. Yeah, Yoshizawa-san is getting. No matter what people say about her, let's stay on her side. Indeed, I will continue to support her as someone who devotes her youth to sports. Uh, or are you just supporting her because she's attractive? What do you have to say? The false hero, Kamashita has fallen. Shujin Academy's future has hope so long as I'm around. Uh, false hero? Yes, Kamashita tricked people into thinking he was a hero, but he wasn't. Oh, and don't tell anyone my true identity. No one can know that I'm a phantom thief. Ah, uh, ah, uh, right. Let's just go this way. And we're gonna hang out with the counselor today. We have a counselor persona. Hey there. Oh, are you heading home? If you're okay with it, I'd like to get some input from you. Do you have time right now? There's no pressure, obviously, but... Uh, yeah, we have a persona, a counselor persona, so we're going to help him with his research. <laughs> And just ignore what everybody else has to say because it's just uh, them saying, hey, yeah, let's do this. Hmm. I've been getting a lot of students coming in ever since I arrived here. To be honest, it's been kind of a relief. That whole mess with Kamashita was the reason I was called here, after all. They warned me a lot of students had been impacted. I knew there would be a lot of free-floating anxiety. But when I actually got to talk to everyone, I was pleasantly surprised. Most of the things on everyone's minds were college entrance exams, relationship problems. In other words, typical worries for high school students. Some did open up about deeper issues, but not the majority. Some students were still struggling with the scars from the incident, yes. But at the very least, I'm glad the ones who came to me have taken some steps towards recovery. Uh, you want to say, so they have, huh? Well, that's not to say I've gotten a sense that of every single student's emotional state. Either way, I hope my worries end up being groundless after all. I know I'm not the most reliable guy, but I but remember you can always talk to me too if something's bothering you. I'm the counselor here, you know. If nothing else, I'm good at listening. Let's see. Having said that, it's a little awkward that I have to ask for your help, but You remember how I asked you to help me with my research? You want to say, "Of course." I said you'd be helping with my research, but don't worry, it won't be anything too difficult or intensive. I just need you to listen to what I have to say and work through some questions with me. So... But let's see, maybe I should start at the beginning. I can tell you a little about what this research is for. What I'm studying now is pain felt in the mind, or perhaps more fancifully, in the heart. Some specific examples include the pain of someone saying hurtful things to you or being separated from those you love. Maybe this would be clear, pain defined by abstracts like trauma or stress. Bodily, physical pain can be thought of as something necessary. An auto, auto, automatic response to injury, illness, whatever. Still. But what about pains, pains felt within one's heart? That pain isn't born from any tangible problems in our bodies, right? It's something strange and immaterial. I guess it goes to show there are still a lot of mysteries in our own hearts and minds. You know, I... And I... Well, I want to learn more about these internal psycho psychological pains. Now, this is my question to you. When you, when do you truly feel pain in your heart, Kurusukun? And uh, you can say any one of these. Um, when I lie, should I say that one? That's true. That twinge of guilt is a good example of internal pain. It can be rough. It doesn't feel good to struggle with pain in your heart. 
for example. But with that in mind, how about the pain of a broken heart then? After all, what kind of pain is only born, that kind of pain is only born because we fall in love, right? Do you have any thoughts on this kind of pain, Kurusukun? You want to say that one seems necessary. True, it proves and validates the love that came before it, after all. A very fitting answer from you. Internal emotional pain can be difficult to deal with, though some say it's always coupled with other feelings. And I agree, of course. I think that's a fair assessment. Though personally speaking, I think if pain can be avoided, it should be. Maybe it shouldn't exist at all. Hmm. Wounds of the heart are much harder to detect, and in a way, they're far more complex than physical injuries. That's why I'm doing this research, to save people who are suffering from internal pain they keep holding on to. You hope to realize the purpose again. Thank you. Uh, you can say either one. I'm going to say, don't worry about it. Right. Thanks to you, I think I'll be better articulate. Thanks to you, I think I'll be able to better articulate my thoughts today. Okay. And we increase our counselor level to three, and we learn flow, chance to receive the effects of charge and concentrate at the start of battle. I think that uh, ups your attack, if I'm not right. mistaken. Okay, I think that'll do for today. Oh? Hmm, why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? <sighs> oh, your mental training. Oh, uh, no, I didn't forget about our promise, of course. I'll teach you tricks for mental discipline, and you help me with my research, just like we decided, right? Now then, how about something like this today? Alright, and our mind feels stronger, right. so our max SP has increased by 5. Oh, and here, never a bad time for a snack, right? And we get a snack. Well, see you. <laughs> okay, now we're ready to wrap things up. Really? You forgot? That's cruel. We're not quite done. We do have a follow-up. Uh, phone call here. There it is. Oh, this is Maruki. Do you have time to talk right now? I'm taking a breather. Just finished my last counseling session for the day. And I thought I'd thank you once again for your help earlier. Uh, you want to say good work over there? Thanks. A lot of students came by to talk today. Hopefully they got something out of it. But to be honest, it's pretty tough juggling this job and my research at the same time. Thanks again for agreeing to help me out. I might be looking to you for help more frequently from now on. It'd mean a lot if you could lend a hand. All right, see you later. Yeah, no problem, I guess. Well, now that it's the evening, let's spend all our money. I should check something. Uh, uh, I think, let me double check a quick thing. Did I sell all of my items? Uh, looks like I did. Okay, I just wanted to double check and make sure we did. We got an IM here from, ah. Kawakami, which, um, hello master, it's Becky, your provider of comfort. I need to ask you, can you request me? The request fee is 5,000 yen, but I'd promise to do a good job. Uh, and we are in fact going to do that, but I want to watch TV first and, uh, I want to answer, uh, the crossword puzzle for today. Hey, hey. So we have label for an unparalleled uh, artist, and if I'm not mistaken on this one, the answer is master. Most often used in the phrase master of the arts, it's reserved for artists with incredible skill and techniques that grew to be heavily influential in their mediums. One of the most pro prolific masters in painting, Pablo Picasso, also has one of the longest full names in art history. 103 letters total, I actually did not know that. All right. Nice. Interesting. Nice. Well, we get one point of knowledge there. Nice. And let's watch some TV and see what's going on. Even more visitors are coming to the Madarami ex exhibition in the last few days before it ends. Even those who only came out of curiosity find themselves entranced by his delicate imagery. The exhibition is scheduled to continue until June 5th. I can't that exhibition that. is ending soon, eh? I wonder what's going to happen. Well, uh, anyway, let's move on. We're gonna actually go ahead and request uh, Becky. Yeah, we're gonna request her. And there's the 5,000 yen. We're gonna be broke. Oh, uh, what? Really? You'll request me? Okay, I'll be sure to make your room absolutely spotless today. Be there soon. Do I have to meow again? Um, I love cleaning shabby, I mean, sophisticated rooms like this. It gives me a sense of accomplishment. 
If it's for you, master, I'll happily be covered in dust. But then doesn't it pain your heart to see a cute maid all dirty? Uh, you wanna say it does. <laughs> Aw, master, even though your room is messy, your heart is so clean. I'll go ahead and get this over with then. This will do, right? Keeping it a little messy for that shabby cheek feel, you know? And now cleaning is complete. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm exhausted. I'm not allowed to work overtime during weekdays, so I rush to my part-time job after class ends. On my off days, I have to prepare pop quizzes and homework assignments. And today I had to clean bathtubs and walk dogs before coming here. There's no time to rest. Oh, speaking of pets, this room smells like a cat. I feed a lot of strays around my house. I was surprised that you requested me. I didn't think you actually would. You weren't thinking to do anything weird with me, were you? You want to say absolutely not? You <laughs> want kind of weird things. As long as you understand. I know I'm in a maid outfit, but I'm still your teacher, so don't get any funny ideas. Besides, I try not to get too involved with my students, so... I need a nap. Sorry, just give me five minutes. Maybe ten. And before you know it, time's up. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, do you know any know of any part-time jobs that pay well? I assume you make a lot since you can afford a maid service. Well, let me know if you do. You need money? You can say either one of these when I'm saying you need money. Well, uh... You know. It's for my little sister. She's sick, so I need money to pay her medical expenses. This is such bullshit lie right there. Hello. Yes, I made the transfer. What? Not enough, but it was the same amount as last week. I... No, I understand. Okay, goodbye. Uh... Oh, wrong number. Hey, sorry to ask you this out of the blue, but do you happen to have 100,000 yen I can borrow? Oh, wait, never mind. Owing one of my students' money would be the worst. Hey, you may have some money, but be mindful of how you spend it. You shouldn't be wasting it on services like this. Uh, you can say any one of these, but I'm gonna say I requested you. I need the money, so I do appreciate you requesting me. However, you're my student, so if we were to get involved further, things would get complicated. I did warn you, the rest is your responsibility. You're a high schooler, after all. For the record, don't forget that she is, like, almost 30, from what I understand. Uh, I had to look it up, but, like, the best guess is she's around 25 to 30. So, anyway, we get Temperance rank 2 out of this. All right. And we're, like, 16, 17, I think. <sighs> Three more to go. Well, I'll see you later, Master. Okay. Kawakami left. <laughs> I love the voice there. <laughs> okay, that was that was something that happened. Oh, is this master? Thank you for using our service today. I really want to do a lot more cleaning for you. Is that okay, master? Can you put that face away? You want to say, is this a hard sell? What? No, I just wanted to hear your voice, master. No, you've got the right idea. Still got to hit my quotas for the week. Ugh, sorry, part of the job. Okay, this is driving me insane, so I'm just gonna drop the sales talk. Crap, my manager's coming! Um, well, I hope you'll request me sometime- again sometime! Bye-bye! <laughs> oh, awkward as heck. We have one more day! Yay! We're getting started! It's been getting humid lately, huh? But it's time like these when you just gotta push through the funk. Don't let the weather get to you. Well, that was the plan anyway, and then I got police officers asking what I was up to. Do I really look that suspicious? Uh, yes. Oh, but speaking of looks, have you ever seen someone you thought was cute and immediately decided they must be nice too? That thought process is totally normal. It's not, if not always accurate. There's even a name for it. How about Penny Gares is Kurusukun? What do you think the name for this phenomenon is? The answer is the halo effect. This is it. Right. Correct, I'm surprised you knew. You get distracted by superficial qualities and your broader perception of someone can get biased. Once you get that far, it's hard to make totally objective judgments. Like that person is quiet, so they must be scary, stuff like that. Whoa, you actually do that? Yeah, thank you for that. Nice going. Anyway, we get one point of knowledge there. There it is. Yes, perfect. The halo effect isn't all bad, but 
I recommend you give people the chance to define themselves instead of making snap judgments. After all, it'd be a shame if your biases kept you from noticing something truly wonderful about someone, right? Plenty of terrible people look perfectly decent on the outside, but Lady Anne looks perfect and she is perfect. <laughs> can, can you stop? It's raining. Whether well, oh yes, it, we knew this. Uh, anyway, let's move on here. I want to head to Shibuya actually, so off we go, and I'm gonna go to the underground mall. Now we're gonna hang out with Anne today, and I want to take a quick look around because one of the things that they do have here is you can buy gifts, uh, perfume, aroma sets, lipstick, that sort of thing, and um, I want to buy, I want to buy something for Anne. So let me. I'll be right back. Okay, just wanted to take care of something real quick here. We're gonna buy some designer perfume. I just wanna have that on hand for a specific someone a little bit later. But let's go ahead and hang out with uh, Lady On here. We'll just have to wait for I, now. I guess we now have to wait. The suspense is seriously killing me. Oh, yeah. oh do you wanna go somewhere? If you have the time, I mean. Uh, we can't get our bond deepened yet, but we do want to hang out with her. Yes. And we're going to go uh, somewhere fun, okay. I guess, is the best way to put it. Somewhere popular would be nice. Yeah. What we're going to do, we haven't quite done this yet, is we're just going to stay in Shibuya. And that's where the Wilton Buffet is, that one place that we went. And we're actually going to go there. That buffet you went to before, I'll need to, you to make sure I don't eat too much, okay? okay let's go. Let's get going. Yes. Oh, it's raining outside. That's cool. Mm -hmm. This looks so amazing. This place has so much on their menu, it's hard not to overeat. Oh, how about this? Operation Eat a Bit of Everything. Uh, you want to say, it sounds like a good plan. Right? It's quality over quantity. Honestly, it was crazy how much my stomach expanded last time. But I've reflected on my actions and I won't make the same mistake again. But Akira, can you keep an eye on me? I think as long as you do, my resolve won't crumble. Yes. Well then, let's get eating. The important, the order you eat things seems important. Let's start with the stuff that digests quickly. Seriously? Hey, they gave me this present for being the millionth customer. No wonder this place is expensive. I'm amazed they give out stuff like this. Aww. I feel like I just eat from it nonstop if I kept it at my house. Can you take it? So we get a choco fountain. I don't know what to do with this. And our bond will grow, uh, grow eventually, sometime soon, next time we hang out. <laughs> ah, you're back. The exhibition ends tomorrow. Matarame must have had his change of heart by now, right? I'm sure it'll be fine. So far, nobody's come charging us with anything, yeah? But wouldn't he wait to press charges until after the exhibition? What should we do if someone contacts us about it tomorrow? Try asking Yusuke. He's still staying with Matarame, right? Oh, that's right. Where is Yusuke? I wonder if he'll be okay with Matarame. Sorry, I'm late to contact you all. It seems something will certainly be happening tomorrow. Matarame is on the phone as we speak. Uh-oh. Uh, what do you mean something? I believe he's preparing for a media announcement. I didn't hear anything about pressing charges. Guess we just gotta wait then. Let's meet in Shibuya tomorrow. Okay, see you then. The exhibition is oh. finally ending tomorrow. I'm sure things will work out fine this time, too. I certainly hope so. Well, let's watch some TV first here. Feather Hawk has regained his lost memories, but now a new villain has revealed himself. The earth-shattering appearance of a new leader. Revive and fight, Phoenix Rangers. The next episode is his name is Feather Red. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. Let's check our IMs. We have calories for you, Master. I'll provide you with some calories, Master. It's Becky the delivery maid. The maid's cooking option includes together with a maid. It's on sale with the request fee. It's only 5,000 yen. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing this. What, seriously? Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, then please wait for me with an empty stomach, master. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Master. Well, did you enjoy the maid's cooking and together with a maid service I provided today? The high-end cup noodles really do make a difference, don't they? Uh, you want to say, yeah, they do. <laughs> I thought you'd agree, Master. They are pretty complicated, though. It says to drain the hot water once and leave the sauce packet on the lid so it gets warm. 
Don't request me if you're going to complain. Besides, I thought I warned you already. Why would you request me again? Uh, you wanna- you can say any one of these and I'm gonna say, uh, I was curious. Sure. Hmm, are you sure that's really the reason? Well, I guess I'm in no position to complain since I'm making money from it. Ugh. I'm so tired. We had a faculty meeting just the other day. Why do they last- have to last so long? Jeez. Thanks to the Phantom Thieves, the students have been really restless lately. The teachers can't seem to agree on what to do about them or the Phantom Thieves. I wish they talked about uh, more about our bonus instead. I heard they might even cut the teachers' salaries. I'm so sick of it. Uh, you want to say I'll request you more often. Really? I'll continue to serve you with all my might, Master. I'm gonna be in trouble if I don't pick up more shifts. Uh-oh. Hello. What? what? How much? I can't... Yes, but... that That's true. Sure. Yes, I understand. Yes, it's my responsibility after all. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little behind on my sister's medical bills. Uh, you can say either one of these and I'm gonna say, uh, don't overdo it. Uh, apparently it's some crazy incurable disease, so there's a lot of fees and extra charges. That's why it would really help if you requested me more. Oh, never mind, you're my student. I can't keep relying on you. Uh, what am I gonna do? Anyway, it's time for me to go. Hey, feel free to call me to do housework. It doesn't have to be through the maid service. I live close by so I can stop over whenever you need me. Besides, I'm worried that you can't cook or do laundry because you don't have your parents. Oh, and if your friends suddenly come over, I can always leave out the back way. All right, so, uh, Awkward as hell, but now you can actually request her to brew coffee or do laundry for you. It does cost money, but right. she will do those things, and we're not going to have her do either of those things. So, there you go. Ugh. This isn't how it was supposed to go. In any case, I need to talk to my boss about giving me more shifts. I need to get requested more. Good night. Okay. Well, we're not quite done here. We do have a phone call, so let's get this. Oh, is this master? Thank you for using our service today. Wasn't my meal so delicious? Could you taste all the love I put into it? But you can't just eat cup noodles, right? You need balanced nutrients. Maybe next time you can try some of my homemade cooking instead. Seriously though, you're still young, so you need to eat properly. Uh, you wanna say thanks? You can thank me once you start making actual improvements. Uh, I mean, you're so very welcome. Um, I know this is kind of silly, but you really do need to eat healthy, okay? I mean, considering how much you spend on requesting me, you can probably afford some good food. Well, I hope you request me again sometime. Bye-bye! <laughs> what is happening right now? Anyway, it's, it's do or die day. Oh, yes, no, we're good. We need to turn the auto on. What's up with that old geezer? Is he crying? I... I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I... Uh, plagiarized work. I... I tainted this... This country's art world and... and even Sayuri... How could I... Holy crap! I possibly apologize to... To everyone for for what I've done. <laughs> He's crying way too much. <laughs> and that was from the urgent apology conference by Urgent Apology Conference. A <laughs> what a name. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... That old man's done for. After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Why'd he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? 
Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom Thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Phantom thieves, huh? Pleasant boy, huh? Phantom thieves again. Let's meet in public. Fantastic. Did you guys see the news about Matarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the Phantom Thieves! Y'all are too loud. Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal. Hmm, I don't know. Man, you're so indifferent. Then again, doesn't that make him more trustworthy? You can say her? anything you want there. As Same response. Me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Basically. Something like this happening twice is massive, too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. Uh-oh. We may want to quiet down a little. Do you know them? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? What's up? Ah, yes! How can we help you? That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. What are you all doing here? Are you friends? Uh, uh yeah, we're, we just wanted some tea. <laughs> That's a funny answer. Hmm, is that so? And how would you do that in a place like this? We were just discussing where we should go. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. It's still light out. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. But we were fine. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? That'll be fine. Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. I guess it's you're totally right. like there's not somebody far in the distance the way, watching us. Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Matarame? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, I pressed him for answers. But he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen, after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw on such a place anymore. Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge thanks to my fine arts scholarship. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Yes, he is. Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. Uh. Wait, what? <laughs> you know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you want. <laughs> Yusuke is... You moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. <sighs> and it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Matarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. Alright, guess it's just more prep till then. Uh-oh. Busted. Yusuke Kitagawa. Quick, use your Phantom Thieves skills. Anyway, if you've forgotten, as most of us probably have, uh, 
in, we're actually in the present, and this is, the whole thing was a flashback. This is actually where we are. So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? Yo. Yeah, it's the truth. <clears throat> Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Haha, <laughs> no. Now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. Hmm. Go right ahead. So you won't sell out your accomplice? <sighs> Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Now your next target was this man, Junya Kaneshiro. He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So, exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. Alright. Move on from that. Still a little bit more story. The suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First, Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Madarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. Uh oh, looks like there's many and things going I on. Understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed... <sighs> uh, I, I don't know if you guys have played a Persona 5 game before, obviously, but uh, I should let you guys know that um, most of these games are uh, a little bit deeper than what you would see just by playing the first few dungeons, so this game's like gonna get a hell of a lot more complicated by the end. We'll probably end up fighting God because that seems to be a running theme anyway. Looks like Yusuke's texting me. I think you're getting him too. You have my gratitude. What are you so polite for all of a sudden? I truly am thankful for you for making me come to my senses. Uh, you're exaggerating. I most certainly am not. I must express my gratitude earnestly. You're one of us now, man. We'll be counting on you, okay? Of course. And if anything comes up, we won't hesitate to lend a hand. Thank you. Well then, see you. <laughs> he didn't have to go through all that trouble just to thank us. Such an He's such an honest guy. Anyways, that went well for our first job, huh? It was a huge success. So that said, you got time after this? Uh, yeah. You know. Well, the thing is, I got some free tickets to a darts lounge from this guy I know. But I totally forgot that they expire today, so you want to go right now? <sighs> Ryuji, didn't we just finish about how we needed to be on guard? Come on, it's just darts. Don't you want to play too, Moriana? I mean, if you can actually throw anything. If you're just going to play, then I guess it shouldn't be a problem. Alright, let's just head to this darts lounge or whatever it is. Lead the way, Ryuji. Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm on it. 
Oh, right. This place is in Kichi Joji, so we gotta take the train first. I've never been there. What? For real? There's a bunch of different shops right outside the station there. Let's go. It's just one stop away from Shibuya, so let's head on the Inogami line first. Well, we're gonna be doing that, but uh, next time. So I will see you guys then.